Hello everyone, I'm back with another LEGO Hero Factory Brain Attack review. This time it's on uh, the medium-sized set, Pyrox. So let's take a look at the bag. Picture of Pyrox, Brain Attack right there, and that's why I cut it through the bottom. Then we have LEGO Hero Factory going down the side of the bag. Ages 714, 44001, and he's 50 pieces. His name is Pyrox, of course, and he gives you one of the yellow brain things. Um, since this bag is big, it's a little hard to show, but uh, here's Pyrox, Inferno XL, uh, in the combiner. Really cool. And it doesn't show on the front, but it gives you 600 game points. And then the size of the head with the brain thing attachment on it. So, yeah it for the bag. Well, let's get to this really epic figure. Now, to be uh, honest, I did. I thought this was going to be one of the worst villains when I saw the pictures. Um, I was totally wrong. So, I'm going to sh start with the legs. Now, they're just a little bit short, but um, it suits this character, so I have no problem with it. I like the spikes and the new piece right here. Really nice. Now, the chest has two recolored pieces on it, which is nice. We now have this chest in red, and we have the, the chest enhancer and gunmetal. This arm, I see no problem with it either. It has nice bulk up here, a little skinniness down here, but no, no big deal. And then this giant claw, which I actually think is a really, really epic weapon. And then this arm, same thing. Bulkiness up here, skinniness down here. See no problem with that, because it suits the character. This thing, this weapon is really... Yeah, so, well, yeah, so this weapon can just, really, it's really kind of cool. Um, the only problem is with him, it, it's, there's a lot of upper body weight, and sometimes in poses he will want to fall. So you have to kind of get him stabilized in a, gr in a nice pose in order for him not to fall. So, um, here we have the head, um... Uh, these horns are a little overboard. They could have made a new piece that they could just connect to make it look better. To me, that's a little over uh, overloading it. And then, um, just want to show you some here. I can take these horns out quick. Okay, um, guys, uh, just uh, hold on for a second. This is going to not take a long time at all. So the way the head is built for the villains is very different. You take this brain piece, and this head is really cool. It has an axle right here, an axle on the top, an axle hole, I meant. And then two axle holes on the side, and then a connection point right here to connect ball joints to it. And then a little clip back here. That's where you connect the visors to the heroes. So basically, you just take this spider-like thing, you just kind of place it on like that, so the head looks like that, then you take, um, you, you should take these horn things, and you just place them in on each side of the head, like that, really good connection right there, they made his neck extra long like they did with the other villains, and then you just take the head and you just push it on like that, I mean, it's a really cool design. I, I couldn't wait for it to get this brain thing. Only one problem, though. When you pop it on the head, on the neck, on the, you know, this wants to stick out. And that's why LEGO did something really cool. Made this little pin here, this little axle-sized hole. Just connected in there and actually fits pretty darn well. It doesn't fall out for me. I don't know about you guys, but a lot of reviews, people say that it falls out, but... It actually works okay with me, I mean, you know, it wants to slide out sometimes, but, I mean, it, it's a it's a really cool set, I mean, this is an epic set, it may not look good on the bag, but it's, whoops, sorry, it's a really epic set, I mean, get it, it's worth, um, $12.99, I mean, I got it for Christmas, but I know the original prices for these are $12.99, but Toys R Us, my dad said, was on sale for $11.99, so that's even better. So yeah, I would recommend picking up this set. This is a really cool set with extraordinary weapons. And the only part I don't like is the horns. They're just too big to me. 
they look even bigger on the back, but, um, I mean, this is, this is a really epic set, I, I suggest getting it. So, um, other things, go to brickset.com, and you will, uh, slash Hero Factory, I'm not sure how to do it, but you will find, um, I think it's seven out of eight of the new Hero Factory sets, not pictures, but it looks like, um, Lego released the names. These are the ones I remember. Stormer, Evo, Surge, and something named Jet Raka. Jet Raka. Not too sure what that means. Um, and then they have the villains. They only have three villains, so it's kind of like what they did earlier. They uh, took away Speedy Demon for a while, and then they finally showed us Speedy Demon, and we were all excited. So basically, I think they're hiding another villain from us, because there's four heroes, three villains. Here are the villains' names. Dragon Bolt, Aquagon, and Frost Beast. Now, if anyone's seen the, um, the trailer for the TV show, if you look next to Pyrox, this guy right here, you will see a white villain. A white villain that looks pretty much like Pyrox. That, I'm guessing, is Frost Beast, because he looks icy. Um, yeah, that, that actually, I just wanted to include that in, because not many people know about it. This has been my LEGO Hero Factory Brain Attack review on Pyrox. See you later.